Right, so apparently a new update had landed for um, X Pirates N1. We uh, went from 5.2.1 to N1. I've updated, uh, nothing exploded. I mean, yeah, okay, to be fair, stuff exploded, but I did that off stream for once. Um, and we are back in this new update. Oh, fuck, I need to pull up the change log. Let's pull up the change log. Let's do it. Change log. Fuck, where do I even start? X Pirates N1 change log, there you go. Do your thing, Google. Eh. Man, five hours ago, that's insane, actually. Uh, da, 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 da. And we're gonna quickly, uh, I'll quickly see what has changed there. Um, where do I even see that? Ah, read more, of course. New feature, the merch Neko Mimi Soldier Race expanded. A huge amount of content, so more cat girls. Ninja HQ, the first base is different than the others now. It's much tougher, but also much less active. Significantly curtailing the year one Geoscape pressure, much less free roaming interceptors. Lessened score hits, player gets a fighting chance to carve some score back. Uh, there's a few new enemies, we have the Raider Sludger and the Raymer Flameguard, a few new missions, Ninja Raid vs Lognar. Uh, there is a new regular mission, the Raider Arms Factory. Oh, the new enemy mission by the way, which is a Ninja Raid vs Lognar, there you go. Uh, there's a new weapon, which is the Mutant Machine Gun and the Pepper Pistol. Uh, Glamour Half-Life is increased from 7 to 9 turns. Added some glamour to oh all right. Added some glamour to certain missions versus factions. Heavy machine gun and light machine gun can now be used as GR craft weapons. I'm not sure what GR stands for. Some graphical improvements to uh, paper dolls from the academy related stuff by the looks of it. Uh, mutant half ubers, brutes, and lamia. More weapon sounds, variety, Budapedia reforms, and bug fixes. Okay, that roughly about uh, sums it up, I suppose. So, yeah. Ah, GR is ground. Time to restart that. No, 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 no. No. Alright, we'll, we'll downgrade. We'll downgrade. There is no cat girls. There will never be cat girls. Um... But yeah, that being said, we are doing quite well ourselves. Uh, we're making quite a bit of progress. I do believe that is a beach sweep that we're currently heading to. Uh, we have one more base left to wipe out, which I've been postponing and probably will postpone today as well. And our research is progressing quite ooh, quite nicely. Um, I still... <sighs> Alright, All right. I'm going to reason with myself here for a moment. I need to make sin suits, which requires surgery room. I need a cloning room. That's two facilities. If I move more slaves here, we can ease down on our vault uh, storage space, which allows me to remove some of the armored vaults. We still need a still, a still. We still need a refinery and extractor. We need a power station. We need an access lift and a hangar. A large quarter will be replaced with luxury quarters. Did you hear that Yugian? No, no, I didn't hear. Didn't hear at all. But uh, I won't be surprised if he succeeded. Requires a lot of planning, I assume. Uh, something that I obviously can do. I'm kind of tempted to uh, set up a second hideout that is going to hold a factory. Probably um, an industrial printer as well. And then a bunch of uh, luxury quarters. Uh, surgery room. Other things. Just, um, you know, just whatever it takes. I have a production issue. <laughs> Alright, first mission. Okay, I apparently I'm taking tanks with me. Um, but yeah, I have a production issue that I need to address. Um, it's not a very nice issue. It's a very bad issue, matter of fact. I just... There's a lot of things I need to produce. and I, In some places, I don't even have the right, the right facilities uh, available to uh, pull it off. Which bothers me significantly. Like, I... <sighs> I feel too lost, okay? That's that's the truth. I feel too lost to uh, reliably know what the hell I'm doing. I kind of feel like I'm just taking steps in the dark. And I kind of want to get rid of that. I kind of want to start thinking ahead and try to like anticipate what I might be needing. Oh boy. And I feel like one of the things that I definitely will be needing very soon is just more production. 
lot more production. Like, I want to make brute armors. We recently got brute armors. I want to make brute armors. I want to make synth suits, which are needed for brute armors. Um, there was a bunch of other things as well. Um, better Lochner armor requires um, requires uh, the, the surgery room as well. Medical supplies requires a med bay. You've played Long War. You know about setting up a failure. Exactly. That's why I haven't done it yet. My gut is telling me, hell, hold on a moment, you're about to shoot yourself in the head. I'm like, alright, when do I pull the trigger? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Like, worst case scenario, we set up an additional base. Um, also, uh, we can process prisoners there, but then the question is, what am I going to do my, with my uh, research, uh, sorry, my production capacity in my main base? My main base is moving soldiers away, and we do have a workshop there. Um, I can train slave specialists, I can make medical supplies there, but basically I do not have the capacity in the main base to support massive operations. <sighs> Dismantle the main base, no. No. <gasps> oh no! Yeah, that's the plan. I'm planning to turn it into my primary research base, and that kind of like creates this issue. Like, well, what am I going to do with my other bases? Am I just... Oh shit, he's kind of boned, isn't he? Oh, sorry, what am I going to do with my production? Am I just going to throw that away? Is that it? And we're so going to kill that bug guy if I'm not careful. Nah, I don't want to be that bug guy. I don't want to be that half-brute either. Like, that's kind of like my, my, my main concern. I know that for everything that I will try to attempt or try to do, um, I'll be limited by the by the fact that my main base is trying to fill two roles. Yeah, I don't have more than a workshop there. I have a workshop and I have a... Um... Fine, kill the guy, kill the guy, see if I can. That's it. Well, I mean, I guess an extractor, but that doesn't really count. Now, does it? Hey, lobsterman. Bye, lobsterman. But yeah, those are just some of my main concerns that I have. That's the worst part of all. Like, I will turn my main base in my main research facility, which means I can't really uh, mass produce uh, production there. But to set up a second production base feels like, hey, I'm trying to solve a problem that doesn't exist yet, but I know it will exist because I'm being paranoid. <laughs> um, you know, it doesn't really sound like uh, I'm right there. If anything, it sounds like I'm actually awfully wrong. Yeah, I, I don't have the space to build an actual production facility. But the question is, like, how would I use my production facility in that particular case? Would I say, like... Oh, get out of there, busty cat. Am I just going to use it to uh, make medical supplies, get rid of slaves? Because if that's the case, um, I have it a lot easier. Like, I don't need massive production capacity. So I think uh, I'm, I'm really leaning towards setting up a second production base. That's what I'm trying to get at here. What I'm trying to get at. Oh, shit. That's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, Alright. That's cool. That's cool. 
Anyways, that's my two cents right off the bat. Uh, I don't even know what the hell am I talking about. You know, I think I actually might not be able to kill this guy. Ha ha, ha ha ha, funny me, funny me. Oh, god damn it, guys. Alright, so how bad will this be? This will be incredibly bad, won't it? This will be pretty gnarly. Alrighty. Ah, he did bleed out. Don't save those two. Don't save those three. Oi, stop that. Okay, so who doesn't have experience? I see Baklaka and Topless. Topless, 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 Topless. Alright, going once. Oh my god, Topless! Where's I see? Where's I see Baklaka? Oh, right here. Done. And then we just clear the rest out. I mean, only two people who died is, in my opinion, pretty good. No, nope, pretty damn good. Anyways, I'm just rambling on, but yeah, those are a few concerns that I've had up until this point. Actually, Diodo, why don't you uh, stop trying to get kills? Hey, how about we give this to Mat Matoko? Matoko. That's right. Two bystanders killed, three saved. That was fun. Uh, people who got experience got experience. We're going to be moving a lot of these items around. I'm going to be shipping whatever I can ship. Uh, but, like, on the other hand, like, I've talked about... I've talked about... Let me find the words here real quick. I've talked about production capacity, cash... But storage space will also become an issue. Um, if I only have enough slaves for one base, that means only one of the two uh, production facilities can hold a large amount of items. Then again, if I'm not building uh, everything that I could potentially build, there will be plenty and ample space. For example, let's say that instead of an airfield at my secondary production base, I will build a large storage facility. Eh, potato potato. Anyways, I've been playing with that idea for quite a while, and I think I'm willing to commit to it. Uh. What? What are we moving? Um, I can actually move this over here. More some blades are needed. Not on everybody. Which means, of course, that. Um, I got to start by building a new hideout. Question also is, do I build a radar installation system? It will be really nice to build. But we got pretty good coverage at the moment, uh, globally speaking. There's a few uh, places that remain empty. If I build one right down here at the tip... I might also get some coverage on uh, Africa. If only I could build it in the water, right? We can't lift on the water! We be no mermaids, Captain. Uh, that's not true. We can be mermaids, as long as you believe. <laughs> Alright, Bongo Haven. Ah, oh, nah. Um, let's call it... Not Bungo Haven, but how about we call it... Um... Uh, 
The runt and grunt. I prefer that better. Thank you. Uh, bu 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 bu. X left, top left corner. And let's start expanding almost immediately with a bunch of security corridors. See from the point forward, Yushankas have been completed. Alright, I'm gonna pull up my list. I made a tiny list of items that need to be produced. First of all, I need four commando rifles. Guess what? I can't make them. So we'll get back to that. Uh, furthermore, I need to get, make less gun ammo um, and also less pistol. But what about the custom less gun? Bingo. Wait, hold on. How many? Alright, so I need more focusing crystals. Gotcha. Not sure how I'm planning to get focusing crystals, but let's start with eight. Some blades. Right, some blades. 20 more of those as well. Uh, more superconductive wire would also be nice. Is there anything we can disassemble? Uh, four small ship engines. I'll take that. Uh, we can disassemble some last guns. That's cute. For now, we're fine. Ah, hell rockets. Chemicals as well. Okay. So let's ship to Adventureland the hell rockets. All 50 of them. It's going to be great. And the Yushankas. All 24. But yeah, hopefully with this little base. And. Ooh, right. Back legs. But. Those um, in my back, we will be able to... Uh... Ooh, Guildmaster. But didn't I already interrogate the Guildmaster? No. No, I didn't. Interrogate away, people. Hopefully with the production, I'll be able to produce whatever I need. That is the main... That's the aim of the game here. Aim of the game. It'll be exciting. Nineteen free prison spaces. Okay, let's ship some people. I noticed that we had researchers at least. That's one of the first people I can send over. Wait, we did have researchers, right? Yeah, we did. There we go. Eighteen researchers. Holy crap, that's lots of slaves. And we had some zombie troopers, which I probably need to start taking care of as well. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, we'll also keep upgrading our uh, capacity in the meantime. Time is money! Oh boy. We're getting lots of uh, down payments at the moment. Um, on top of that, let's go to our crafts, or vessels, the Thunder Horse at least. We'll check out the Peklex. Okay, Peklex haven't arrived yet. Rip. Let's slap some pack legs into uh, this plane though. There we go. All ten of them. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Gambling night! Oh no, you went to town gambling and lost everything. Damn it, why does that keep happening? <laughs> Alrighty, vessels. Thunder Horse, you shankas. Huh. Am I really off by two? Aren't I really off by two? Wait. No, 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 no. Uh, I think I pulled some additional Yushankas from uh, somewhere else. Did I ever send over those pack legs? Let's quickly check it out. Nope. Wait, hold on. Oh no, that makes sense. Yeah, 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 34. Civilization? We have gained! You know what I just realized? We've had this. We should have had this ages ago, didn't we? Uh, we have gained enough cultural and material wealth to call ourselves civilized and thus created the possibility to better the society and raise the value for human life. We should choose to do so. If we should choose to do so. This is one of the requirements for the Higher Studies Project. 2,000 points awarded. Slave Emancipation and the Raider Arms Factory. This is actually quite interesting because that is the new mission right there. Huh. 
Ah, but it is not dependent. There you go. It is not actually dependent on uh, what we just researched. All right. Um, slave emancipation. Let's go. Uh, we can manufacture land deeds. Ooh. Alrighty. And once we start emancipating slaves, we can uh, accumulate cultural wealth, which I suppose we can put towards land deeds. Interesting. Very interesting. Wonder what's worth more, a land deed or slaves? All right. Well, we need this for uh, feudalism. Get up with squire training, which requires older dimensions, which requires a cacao demon. Cacao demon. I'm not sure why I keep calling it a cacao demon. I like it though. Right, let's emancipate some slaves. Next up, mercenary engineer. Quite important as well. Um, it's one of the block things that's blocking me. And then we'll do some uh, small researches in the meantime. Ref damper. It's not a small research though. Socializing has still quite a few subjects left. Um, special recruit number four. One day we'll get through all of this. Day witch. Open admission. Yeah. Laser fist. Uh, the laser fist is necessary for the smasher, which leads to uh, nuclear powered lasers. Which also requires the Russian files. I'm not sure how to get that yet, but I think we might actually need to interrogate the guildmaster. A curse will. We are to travel, if we are to travel through the Toner Gates, but we need weapons which will work in hellish dimensions beyond. Oh, we are to travel through the Toner Gate, but we need uh, weapons which will work in the hellish dimension beyond. Demonic essence in itself is not very practical, so we devise this concussion. It's slightly weaker, but explodes on impact. Manufacturing this will would require a still and a voodoo facility. That's mental. That is truly mental. This is why I need the second production base, so we have a voodoo facility as well. That is not true. Shit. I, I lied. I lied. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, I don't think we can produce that. Shit. We can't produce that anywhere. Because I just simply don't have that combination. Alright, Guildmaster's been interrogated. He's been broken. Um, might as well reclaim some coupons. Um, let's get this done. Let's get this done. Um, SS Contraband Golden Ank. Let's get this done, guys. Uh, void Salts. I'll take that. We're keeping this in Vengalen stone, I'm sorry to tell you. Uh, we're also keeping the demonic essence. SS contraband. Requires jack tokens, yeah. Screw that. Uh, one thing is going to take forever though. Um, I think we have like over 100 ninja badges. Also, a bunch of people to rescue. Two battle trophies, four execution trophies. Hot diggity damn, look at this. Look how much garbage I've been hoarding. Alright, let's see. Aha. Aha. Two hundred. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna be doing this for a very, very, very long time. I need to uh, acquire some more dragon tokens, which shouldn't be that much of an issue once we're done with this. Oh my! Impedildo. Make a tough guy work. Recruit the damsel. Um, 
Have a recruitment, recruit a young Uber, and recruit a castaway gal. Okay, this is gonna be our queue for now. This is a very long queue that is gonna take a while, but um, it'll be worth it. It will be worth it, mark my words. Don't, please don't mark my words. Actually, forget I said anything. <sighs> what else do we have? Exterminator. Yeah, uh, ninja badges will take a while. I need to rescue these people. The sooner we get it done, the better it will be for me. There you go. All will be relatively quick. Void salts, done. First patch is in uh, 5 hours, the next patch is in 10 hours. Uh, the sheer amount of tokens that that will give me would allow me to get some uh, very good stuff. Weird dream. You see a strange blurred apparition you feel her staring at you, and you realize you're completely naked. Holy hell. Kind sister, she speaks all the worldly. I've seen you saving my trusted Templar devotee and other people from deathly peril. I commend you for these good deeds. The world is full of unnatural evil, the vile demons, the insane cultists of apocalypse, the abhorrent zombies. People need a champion. I need a champion, and I beg of you to become one. I have nothing to offer you but my teachings. Will you accept? No. <gasps> The mysterious patron. Yes, your dreams have been brutally invaded by a strange woman. The mysterious patron. She said things about fighting evil for her in exchange for some teachings. Now, should you write it off as a mere dream or give in to the madness and ask about her at the Bounty Hunters Guild? It's <laughs> not even a real question now, is it? Whoa, that is that actually is pretty cool. Uh, we're also working on the mint, and we've also uh, started work on the Broken Guild wrap. Scientific experiments? Okay, cool. Right, let's... Um, let's kick out our tanky gals, and let's uh, bring a bunch of new people with us. Well, who aren't Lognars at least. She'll probably be training some Lognars, but... Uh, well, what can I say? I fall in the... I always fall for the same ploy over and over. Aklex. Haven't arrived yet. Shit. What do we have besides Packlex? Packlex, Packlex. Yushankas, but we already uh, took care of that. Um, I'm gonna see if I can wait for a little while. Bingo. Alrighty. Feels really nice when uh, something like that actually comes together quite nicely. Get to play around with some pack legs and yeah. Bag it and leg it. Off we go. So real quick, um I have not used pack legs. Pack legs are really good. People even have pointed it out to me, they're really good. It's just been laziness on my end. Where the fuck are my pack legs? Seriously? Guys. Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Where's my pack leg set? I'm asking for a friend. He's very upset. Am I, <laughs> I am really that blind. Alright, right here. Sure we can just hold one, right? Nope. Equipment. Not sure if right hand counts. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. Anyways, pack it and lag it. Pack it and lag it. Yeah, I don't think Tempris is gonna be using one. I don't think Chuffy is gonna be using one. Remember, we're just playing this purely by reaction fire. We're not gonna go for any caps today. I like how I decided to bring 24 pack legs and then whenever the opportunity presents itself. Um, I'm not actually using them. 
is quite embarrassing. You go. You get one. You get one. You get one. You get one. Everybody gets a back leg. Bit on the heavy side, but that's alright. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. You don't get one. Bit on the heavy side, but that's alright. We can, uh, we can manage. I like your um, idea of using heavy weaponry, but how about you use... Uh, you could actually use some uh, throwing, couldn't you? Or melee. Sure. Yeah, 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 that thing has melee included. Perfect. Remember kids, don't get yourself killed. Rune number one of Fight Club, rune number two. If you get killed, you don't deserve to be here. Not a rule, it's just a given. Alright, pack legs away. I still think that um, smart drives are too overpowered for what we're currently doing, but that's alright. I'm not gonna have everybody walk around with tiny pistols, but uh, boss guns are definitely too OP. Pulse guns are definitely way too OP. Um, ah, Motoko Kusanagi. Ooh, alright. Alright. Game on. I want to say we are ready to roll, but we're not even close to getting ready to roll, right? Now we should be ready. That was the last one. Alright, good start, good start. Okay, here we go. Man, that is too good to be true. That was too good to be true. Okay, uh... Anyways, we're gonna be setting up a reaction fire, so let's, uh... Green light that. Let's green light that and please, please do not shoot each other in the back. I would highly appreciate that if you didn't. All I gotta do right now is just get some reaction fire in and we're good to go. Just don't get killed. Okay, done, done, done. Okay, and with that we should be ready to uh, boogie. Reaction fire. Good reaction fire. Very good reaction fire. Um, Helen Thompson, Temperance Haynes. Oh god, okay. Leak Ghost, right? Well, that's kind of surprising to be fair, but sure. Where the hell is Leak Ghost? I saw her up here. This is Temperance. Um, but, but Leon. 
Right? But, 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 but. Yes, there he is. Right, but. Renny. I see Baklaka. Olaf. Right, Olaf. Big ghost, here we go. Alright, do you have a med kit? You do not have a med kit. Well, I can uh, I can arrange that. That shouldn't be an issue. Okay, I cannot arrange that anymore. That shouldn't be an issue. Alright, bleeding for four. Uh, if she can survive for one turn... Without dying, um, I can make sure that uh, everybody's gonna proc some experience of that. Lusty Nave and Matoko, right? Matoko is not surprising at all. Not surprising at all. Uh, Lusty Nave, where's Lusty Nave? I'm pretty sure that Topless didn't get any experience. No, Topless is fine. Uh, Renny, Temperance Hayes, Helen, 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 Helen Tyson, where's Helen? Oh, there's Helen, okay. Then we have Lusty Knave. Bingo, got her. Uh, we'll use a bandage instead. Ah, that was a nice try. Okay, da da da, lusty. So how many people do I have? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that should be everybody. Be everybody. Let's have the others look in the other direction so they don't accidentally shoot whoever I'm supposed to uh, get some experience of. You guys do whatever. Yeah, there is one left inside. Okay, so Lusty Nave. Check. Move on to the next one. Mark. Mark my man. Check. Then we have Busty Cat, right? No. Wait, if Busty Cat isn't part of it, Lee Ghost. And Lee Ghost isn't part of it, I'm missing somebody in that case. That's a bit awkward. Helen Thompson. Temperance Hayes, Renny Chef, Helbor Oath. Okay, Renny. But. Olaf. I think I'm missing Helbor Oath. That's the person I've been missing. Where the hell is Helbor Oath? What the. Uh... Wait, what the hell? Where is Hellbore Oath? Oh, there. Haha. Uh -huh. Jokes on me. Maybe I'll just have to shoot some people who are uh, chilling on the ground. How about that? That might work. Might just straight up kill them by accident, but that's alright. We'll get there next turn. Don't worry about that part. Uh, so yeah, who's left? Toko, uh-huh. Toko will be fine. But... Renny, they're gonna take care of the... Researcher. Together with Hellbor Oath. No, Hellbor Oath will be shooting somebody. Temperance Hain. Uh, Temperance seems a bit preoccupied. Thanks, horny Melissa. Now get out of here. God damn it. God damn her. 
And he bled out. Just like that. Life can be so cruel. Okay, but... Actually, I think I'll just shoot her. With um, Temperance. I think that's pretty fair. I think that is pretty fair. We'll pick up the gun next round and then we'll finish it. Once and for all. Yeah, so four people. There you go. Getting the most uh, amount of experience out of this is just really important for me. And she bled out as well. Yeah, kind of to be expected. Kind of to be expected. Who just shot her? Who just shot her? Why didn't you melee? Alright. Let's see if we can punch her. Oh! Ding ding ding! Alright, we're done here. Good fight, good night. Good night. Good night. There's more? Oh yeah, there is. And every go everybody got experience. That's the, really the only reason why I do this. Uh, why I go through so much uh, hoops to jump through. This is nice training. This is incredible training. I I always thought that I would use the Thunder Horse in a offensive capacity. Um, I would look for enemies. I would uh, try to blow them up and all that. But this seems to work fantastic. Also, uh, nano-surgery devices, we cannot make them without the surgery room. Like, just being able to train 24 people on these type of easy missions, that is, that's what I'm talking about. Just what we need. Just what I need. Okay. Uh, we'll ship this to Willy Wonka. Chemicals. Surgery unit, medical supplies, personal computers, graph unit, personal database, integrated devices. Street Fighter Angel of Love, veteran public enemy murderer, subsized, and trigger happy. Not in that particular order, thank you. Um, yeah, I guess we can have another thing pop up in a few hours. Sound of victory. Alright, we got an art piece. A bunch of other junk as well. That is uh, fine. More junk. That is fine as well. Cool. I'm feeling pretty useless today. Feeling pretty damn useless today. Huh. I didn't even check out what I got from it. Ah, now the cube is nice and small, just what I'm talking about. Yeah, so these uh, ninja tokens, they will take a significant amount of time to process. But we have all the time in the world, right? We'll stick with 15 hours. Maybe squeeze in a little bit of 16. Ah, oh, so close yet so far. Uh, once all of that's been taken care of, we can look towards the future. Another Devil's Reef. Well, no, not exactly. It's a different type. That's alright. Um, yeah, let's, uh... <laughs> um, let's throw out the Deliverator. I don't think I have 10, uh, 10 chiller outfits. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, that's how we're gonna do it. Alright, I'm gonna keep this nice and simple. I don't wanna spend too much time trying to figure out how I can maximize this. So I'm just gonna grab these people, slap on some chiller armor, and send them off to fight. Besides Humongous Strangler, who uh, will be replaced with... Or Power Duel! Yeah! Cool. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, let's get it done. Ready. I need to uh, replenish my sunblades. I need to make automatic harpoon guns as well, or probably ship them. I think that's uh, that's the main thing that's missing here. I'm not shipping them. Very important to ship them. And then we'll get some uh, javelins as well. No crossbows, I think. I'm not really going to settle for crossbows. We've done Devil Reefs before. Why does this look so incredibly unfamiliar to me? Guys, guys, I might have made a huge mistake here. How's our electricity resistance? Oh boy. How did I make this mistake? Don't mind the lobsterman. I think I might actually be able to go down here, right? Yep. He needs to die, and I have no easy way of killing him. And whoever is going to get hit by electricity will die a horrendous death. You know, having to go through these people and basically uh, start wondering who am I going to sacrifice is not a very great feeling. But... Okay. It's going to be Handsome Judge. I'm starting to wonder if it actually should be uh, Motoko. Why did I know? Why did I know? Why did I know? That this is not gonna work. Oh! It actually did work. I really already had mentally prepared myself for what's gonna miss. Toko, Motoko, Motoko. Alternatively, I can also try to snipe him. The downside is his rear armor has 9, but I don't think we'll be able to penetrate his, uh, everything. So, Laconic, you're going to be my sacrificial lamb here. I'm so sorry. Somebody has to do it. Uh, she's still alive, luckily enough. Would have gone the other way as well. Alright. So, I'm going to assume 
that it is not safe. Anywhere. Oh boy. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, okay. I'm afraid that if I stay up top, I'm gonna get basically electrified by uh, everything on the map. But at the same time, I'm also gonna have to clear out some of these people surrounding me. Ah, shit, that's not a good, that's not a good sign. There's so many of them, sire. I feel like this is one of the cases where I really, really, really wish I had some melee uh, capable people with me. That's another Aquaman. And this is why we need to basically drop down here with those Aquaman. I don't think everybody can make the drop. Maybe? Nope. Everybody can make the drop. <sighs> yeah, I can't make the dark. Definitely a reason for concern for me, though. Definitely. Oh my... Okay, okay. Um... How many people can I stack on top of this floor? How many people can I stack below me? Enough. Nope. Bit. Well, fuck me. Okay. I'll see what I can get done. We're dead. Damn, there goes a the tech walk. This right here, this is why we should have hit down there. Okay. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. I am leaning towards evacking. I'm leaning towards evacking. This is not going great at all. Yeah, this is going terrible. Um, I don't know why I expected the Devil Reefs to be a completely different mission than it actually was. Uh, guess I lied to myself mentally. Yeah, that really caught me off guard. Don't think I've done Devil Reefs before in that case. I think I've seen it pop up once and said, Nah, I'm not doing it. Screw that shit. I think that's my main mistake there. Yep, 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 that's it, that's it, that's it. Um, well, I mean, if I'm not allowed to pull out... How many people can I get out? Not enough, right? Sorry, Tech Hawk, looks like you making it back. Anyways, I think people are gonna die regardless because I already fucked up. That's nice. That's nice. Shit. That was dumb. That was really dumb. I was not expecting this type of mission here. Okay. 
Ooh. Yeah, I do have slashing weapons. Um, I should have equipped them basically right off the bat. I just assumed javelins would have been enough to deal with those other bastards. Uh, they're obviously not enough to deal with those other bastards. That's where I made a critical thinking mistake. That's okay. That's okay. Surely equipping a few uh, slicing weapons will turn the tide, right? Right. Nothing to worry about, just gotta pick a few more uh, slice and dice weapons up. I know of two Aquamans as well. Let's keep that in mind. Hello. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. How far could I pull, uh, pull back 30? Okay, gotcha. I really need more slice weapons. I really need more slice and dice weapons. Also, there's a possibility that an Aquaman will be standing down here, ruining my day. Fuck. You know, I don't think we're gonna make this. I think I should have pulled out, and I think I'm about to get punished for that. Pretty severely. Okay, well at least the slice team is ready to go, ready to roll. I decided that it's better to stick to the back here. If somebody walks in either of these three directions, um, yeah. I'd rather not. Rather not die. Okay, let's die. Okay. Um, I kind of forgot Bloody Dwarf is all the way up here. It's a miracle she survived this long. Got about Bloody Dwarf, I can't believe it. Now, who can we see? One, two, three, four, five, and number six. So, two. Yeah, 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 there you go. Two lobstermen. He's bleeding, by the way. Hopefully, he'll bleed out. I know of two aquamen. Still lots of enemies. Alright. Make that our captain. Unfortunate to hear. Yeah, that's not where I wanted to go, but that's cool. Yeah, that's pointless. Not sure why I keep doing that. Um, oh, okay. I think my friend over here, Motoko, uh, she is... Uh...
she's gonna pick up uh, another tech blade. Camping seems to pay off for the time being, so that's nice. It's very nice. What I like to hear. I'm having to hunt for Aquaman as well. Aquaman! 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 Yep. That's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Um... I think it's quite important to at least uh, run around with one melee weapon if possible. Uh oh. Alright. Slow and steady, slow and steady and whatnot. Huh? Aha! Uh -huh. Hey! Will you look at that? Uh oh. Stop blocking. God damn it, how did that happen? And the Laconic over here just casually strolls in and finishes it. The part that I'm having a hard time believing is that I'm just doing this with javelins. I really need to invest in better uh, aqua stuff. I really need to invest in better aqua stuff. Oh boy. Hey, we found an aqua man. That's cool. That's cool. Some blades good too. Some blades very good. <laughs> yes, aqua javelins will be a blast. That will be the blast that I, uh, that I just won't be able to contain. Um, wrecking tastic. Well, hi there. Nice uh, hiding there, bud. I almost, almost won't have uh, killed him. Almost. Like the problem I have with guns is that they're just very inaccurate. They don't do that much damage, sadly, but that's why we need to upgrade our arsenal. Yet I use it as a reason not to upgrade my arsenal. It's really dumb. I like it. I like my dumb takes. Uh, okay, alright. One Aquaman over here. He probably came from the right side. Uh, we have one Lobsterman, two Lobstermen. There might be another Lobsterman lurking around corners, so I gotta be careful with that. You know what weapon? A heavy slug thrower. Heavy slug thrower. Definitely. Shit. Uh oh. Gauss. <gasps> what? I got hurt? Whoa! I got hurt! Oh, because the little shit picked this fucking thing up. That is, uh, that's incredibly terrifying. Um... Because they do not require, um... Oxygen to operate. Gasp.
No, come on. They're from the deep weapons. Uh, that's a cold awful argument, but that's cool. How badly are you bleeding there, Honorable Necrona? Three. Bleeding for three. Gotcha. I can take care of that. Take care of that. I don't like him. I really don't like him. Oh, fuck me. Deep on pistols as well. Aquaman is facing away from me. You know, I um, definitely am getting a bit worried here. Care of him. Looking at some of the pe uh, some of the things that surround me, I'm definitely getting quite a bit worried. God, you're still alive. I thought you would have blood up by now. Anything else fun that I might be able to use? Sure. Sure. Let's go. Yeah, it's good at close ranges. I might get some benefit out of it. Come on, how can you survive that? More sunblades are needed. I don't think I have more sunblades though. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, little did I know, little did I know. I have plenty of sunblades. That party is not gonna stop anytime soon. Alright, well, it's going to be slow and tedious. We'll just slowly grind our way up, hopefully without dying. Um, that would always be quite nice if it is without dying. We'll hold the center, we'll clear out lots of enemies on the inside, and then uh, we'll start pushing out. If we can take control of the right side and the left side, then we can just push downwards. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see what uh, time will bring us here. Problematic. That guy's very problematic. Alright, he's still looking away from me. Ah, two of them are floating about. Okay. I'm a tenacious Stardust. I'm putting my money on you succeeding there. Guess that's what I get. Gambling. Don't even have ammo. Really, my blade fell all the way down there. That was sloppy, I should have pre-checked that. Yeah, my blade is all the way... Um... Well, where is my blade? <laughs> where is my blade? Um... I think that's it. I think it's right down here. Just kind of clipped through the ground. Cool. Oh, come on! I like when blades do that, clip through the ground. Very realistic. It just intensifies uh, the gameplay. Okay, what can I see? 
If it's mostly just going to be Lobsterman I'm going to be dealing with, uh, that is doable to an extent. Not going to say it's great, but it's doable. Oh yeah, you're not going to survive that, buddy. Bam, click, click. Right, I should remember that um, Motoko over here does not believe in um, floating. Very easy to forget. Alright, so that's where the second Aquaman is. If I had somebody who could blitz forward, I would totally make them blitz forward, but I don't. So. Oh, well played, my friend. Well played. I did not expect you over there. Remotely. It's alright. Finally bled out. Two Aquamans. And I'm gonna miss Attack Hawk. I did all my dirty work. This time he is looking at me. He's also looking at me. Shit. They're actually looking at me, sent help. I like they knew about my plan to try and assassinate them. Immediately countered it. Right. Um. I'll wait for them to get closer. As long as I know where they are, uh, it will help me out significantly. Just the fact that there are still so many turns uh, slightly worries me. Or that their turns are still so long slightly worries me that uh, they're still out and about. I'm missing somebody. Hmm, that can be good. That can be good. Okay. All right. Definitely nothing to be uh, concerned about. Ah, that's where he went. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, assassination material one on one, sadly. Not where he went, but obviously he's not there. It's really hard to break free from this. Um really hard to break free from this area. Let's attempt it. The problem is, there are two Aquamans and dealing with both of them is going to be a complete and total nightmare. And I don't want to send out solo operatives. All right. That might actually cause me issues. All right. Hmm. Question is, what will be the best way for me to deal with him? What will be the best way for me to deal with him? Slow and steady. That's how I want to do this mission right now. Slow and steady. It's actually really close to... Uh, it's really close to just finishing it and... Uh, finishing this turn and moving on to the next turn. I didn't realize there were people standing up top. I will not have given myself for that. Uh, 
Every kill counts. Every kill counts. Okay. Right. So, a few things that can go awfully wrong here. Nation starters will get busted. Aquaman uh, will hit her with indirect fire. I can charge up to him, but because I'll be uh, for a very long time in his line of fire, he will actually uh, slice and dice me. I can move to this little area with Batoko, but I feel like she isn't in a sufficient enough position to do that. I would love for her to uh, fulfill a support role, but not an offensive role due to her low HP. Okay, looks like we're fine this turn. Where the hell did he go? Oh, hello. Know where this person went. Right. Below my head. That's cool. Oh yeah, that's cool as well. Um, I, I'm starting to think that maybe we should start producing a bunch of aqua javelins just uh, for these type of missions. Like, a devil read is such a step up at the moment, it's actually pretty insane. Get the hell out of here. Back him up. Back him up! Beep 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 beep. I do not know where the Aquaman went. Ah, uh, shit. Don't know where he went. Oh! Come on. Not cool, man. Not cool. Hiding that close. Ah, uh, that close to cover. What about this Aquaman? Where did he go? Guess I can't know that now. Hmm. Yeah, I won't be able to figure that part out. Okay. Uh, that might be the end of Tenacious Stardust again. Let's see. I need to deal with him. Ah, he's hiding in that corner. As you can see, there's two people right over there, and that's why I didn't just want to blindly uh, charge in. Toko. Swear to God. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm very disappointed in you. If you know, young lady, very disappointed. Okay. All right. All right. Well, at least we'll only uh, get away with one kill, right? Or one death. I definitely uh, misprepared. I definitely misprepared and miscategorized the, the difficulty of this mission. Oh yeah, right. High armor. That definitely didn't help me out. Slice and dice in four times. Four times, but if that won't be enough, then... Um, Toko is on her own, and she'll probably die in one single slash. Anything else that I can do at this point? I don't think so. Um... Mostly need some more recon uh, units. I'd love to push forward, but let's give it a let's give it a moment before we make a push, and then we move out. Then we move out. 
Yeah, yeah, this will be fine. That will be fine as well. Let's do it. Oh, shit! Wait. Wait. Who are you shooting? What, where, why? Oh, you can actually see them. Okay, gotcha. So, there is an Aquaman over here and there's an Aquaman over there. Would have been very unfortunate if that had succeeded, right? Oh, you went after my... No, you bastard. I can't believe um, they tried to kill my, uh, my sin. I need to give the sin the better, the better blade. Let's be fair. Okay. Well, that doesn't really work. Universe antimatter. Let's do this. My sin has the better blade. I feel more confident about her capabilities. Just don't die on me. That's all I'm asking from you. Just don't die on me. Yeah, I don't know where uh, the other guy is. Um, but I... I'm not deploying any support down here. That's that's the part I'm mostly worried about, and I'm not sure how I can pull pull that off at this point. Anyways, I'm playing this way too slow. Let's uh, let's speed up. We don't want to spend all night here. Let's be fair, okay? Might sound like fun, but we don't want to spend all night here. I at least don't. <laughs> last time I checked. Aimed shot, but let's go for unaimed. Not enough to kill him. Damn. Going once, going twice, going thrice. Oh my fuck. How? How, how did you survive? Two hits to the face. Nice, oh, sneaky bastard. And you survived the javel uh, filled javelin throw. Rip. Okay, well, let's uh, let's get people murdered then, shall we? Not even surprised. Not even surprised. Wait, you did see, right? Yeah, there. There we go, now we're talking. And I'm out of ammo. That is very poor timing on my end. Oh shit, I forgot about Bombastic Destroyer and the fact that she didn't die is incredibly lucky, I suppose. Shit, there's another guy there? Oh yeah, there is. Hey there, other guy. How you doing? Pretty bad, I assume, because I'm about to blow your face off. Let's go. Ah, boy. Oh, we should be almost done now. Bingo. Aquaman. Excellent. That's the guy I've been looking for. Now that kind of also creates the next problem for me. Um, if I send out Motoko, I'd be at his mercy because there's no real good place to hide. Uh, right, 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 right. Well, we're almost through. As long as we don't have any uh, unfortunate mishaps, we should be done here in no time. Well, that explains why I can't move in that direction. That's good to know. Oh, 
Okay, so I actually did try to look for Aquaman and I couldn't find him, which is quite concerning. Uh, shit, because we got to switch weapons. That works, that works. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable at all with this mission. I don't feel comfortable at all. I feel like I'm a rock throw away from losing people left, right and center. And that's where the other Aquaman is. I could go to him, try and slice and dice him, but let's be a bit more patient about it. This will do. Ah, that's where he is. Okay, as you can see, he is in a very nasty spot for me to deal with. Alright, Universe Antimatter can actually back up for once. Or provide backup. Uh, what's the plan? What's the game plan? I think I have a game plan right now. Yeah, that's my entire game plan. Right there, just a stray bullet. And me being very sad about it missing. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm taking way too much time with this. Let's just push this forward and... Uh... Are you okay? Matoko, are you okay? Please tell me you're okay. Matoko is not really okay, shit. I can't believe that she failed hitting it. Worry about it. Don't worry about it. I said don't fucking worry about it. There you go. <gasps> Not enough energy. You gotta be kidding me, right? Come on. No. No. Is this is this how I'm gonna end? Is this it? God damn it. Thank God, Universe Antimatter for backup. Whew. I see I lost all my uh, combat capabilities. That's nice. That's nice, okay. Well, alright. In hindsight of what just happened... Um, we might actually have just killed Matoko. Cool. Oh, cool, 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 cool. This is exactly the need that I was uh, waiting for. Yeah, I'm, I'm lacking support. I'm lacking a lot of things. Oh. Make a way to shoot them. And a boy. Uh, so we have one left. One whole friend in a bucket left. Wherever he may be, the Aquaman. He's up here. Well, at least the majority of the map's been cleared out. Let's 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 talk positive, alright? Let's let's say a few positive things here. At least the majority of the map's been cleared out. At least I'll go and die in a glaze of glory. Oh wait, hold on. Shit. No. Um Well this is what it is, you know. Um I'm not too happy about it. We're gonna lose our sin. I really like the sin. Really did like it. But one life gives you lemons, and you uh, don't make lemonade. So don't be uh, surprised when you go thirsty. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, <gasps> she did it! I can't believe she did it. No nonsense for once. Wow. Oh, she's still with us. All right, excellent. That's that's great. I'm really starting to get too attached to the sin. Not gonna lie. Way too attached. Damn! How did uh, how did she survive? So whenever she bites the dust, that will be incredibly sad.
Not as sad as a tech hawk dying though, as a side note. I could go over here, slice and dice him, eliminate the Aquaman threat once and for all. Done. I was gonna say and then run back, but apparently we can't run all the way back. Right down to roughly about two enemies. So yeah, I can uh, I can definitely work with that. We don't have enough energy to throw uh, more than once. Well, we only have one left. Oh shit. Well, touche. You got me. You got me. Bloody Dwarf with the saving throw. Alright, yes, this means we have officially fully, completely, wholly and totally uh, broken free. Thank god. But we're not quite there yet. Ah shit, I was kind of hoping that would have been the last one. Ooh, well there's less than three left, let's see. And they're really in that corner, so we just keep pushing for now. Hmm? Ah, there he is, okay. My man! Must be above missing them in that case. We'll shoot. Yeah, this mission was a lot more tougher than I expected. I just assumed it would have been in a similar sense as uh, uh, similar sense as what what is it called again? Um, uh, underwater treasure, but instead of having a rack, you would have a lot more um. Deep ones. A lot more deep ones roaming about. Wait, are you inside the, inside the building? Then where the hell are you? But I didn't expect this many of them, and I didn't expect uh, these little uh, beacons, which I guess they did hint at that, so... Damn it. God damn it. Well, that's it. That's it. I'm angry. Worst part of all is he was hiding, so I couldn't even freaking hit him to begin with. <gasps> no! You do not get to survive those hits and walk away from that. Get the fuck out of here. That's right, I said it. Oh, great. He gets to do these beesh bullshit hits and walk away from it. Cool! God, I hate you so much right now. <laughs> um, freaking believable. I can't believe I lost Matoko. Can't believe it. Oh come on, not pointy swimmer as well. Well, at least she's not dead dead, so that uh, does work uh, to my advantage. Oh, you are out of fuck off. Yeah, so, um... I hate this game. Said it. I'll say it again. I hate this. I hate this so much. Uh... The amount of hate I have right now is uh, unparalleled to anything else in the universe. I have to kill my own. Gal can't make that arc. Yeah, you can. Thank you. Yeah, so all beacons destroyed a thousand points. We did lose two hands, um, a tech hawk, but also Matoko. <sighs> Oof. 
Yeah, legendary score. At least they went down in a blaze of glory. No star. No big win. Oh yeah, we do get back a damage sin. Right, but we have to retrain her from scratch. I guess. Wow. That's just a punch in the gut. That is just a punch in the gut. Damn. Ready. Oh. At least uh, we're still alive and standing, right? Oops, some more corpses can be shipped over there. We'll hang on to the sonic weaponry. No free animal cages! Okay, well, bye-bye. Anyways, this is a very good point. Um, this is a very good uh, indicator for me. What I definitely got to be doing is uh, upping my... My Water Warfare game, Primal, Soft Target, Depth Dweller, Diver. Yeah, look at that. Ice Cold, Ghost, Joker. Oh man, another Joker. Angel of Death. That's what it is. That also means we lost two chiller outfits. So let's uh, repair those, or let's make some more chiller outfits. Don't be too difficult to make, but it does cost me some super conductive wiring. Oof, big oof. Academy scientists! Scientists are top amongst academicians. Academicians. Who graduated in technology, they wear fancy power armors, light but protected by energy shields, and have a knack for constructing using weird gizmos and bizarre weapons. Academy scientists are both socially privileged and not quite right in their minds. The combined effect of which gives them really good morale and general smugness. So neural scanner, a closely guarded secret of the star gods. This sophisticated device is able to read, write, and erase the contents of one's mind. The Stellar Empire uses it for intelligence purposes, as well to imprint skills, knowledge, and loyalty upon their freshly bred clone soldiers. However, the scanner has its limitations. Every mind, especially a natural grown one, has its own unique internal language of great complexity, making any deeper tempering difficult, imperfect, and damaging. The much less potent portable version of the scanner is known as the Mind Probe. That's cool. Arcane Tome. Ray, hello, this is Neil. Who do we have? What do we have here? Ah, the Mutant MG. Yeah, sure. Guess we can learn about that. Wrecked Hover Tank. Yeah, that will take way too long. What about the Sharkman Corpse? Hell yes, let's do it. Um, Aurora's Plot. Kidnap Aurora. Recalibrates Shadow Tech Operation Snowstorm, which we need from my Technocracy Datapad 1. Which I guess we get from the Red Eye Menace. Yes, we do. Mercenary Captain. Yeah, right, we had another one. Sadist of the Apocalypse. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we can get the Sadist of the Apocalypse done and over with, right? Mutant Culling. Actually, no, this is more important. <sighs> the Harbringer Power Armor. This refined suit feature, uh, features laminated ceramic plates suspended upon a plastic frame. These plates can shatter when hit by hypervelocity AP projectiles or a strong blast wave, but provide most unparalleled plasma and camp protection. It's an exosuit. It's not that protected against piercing, surprisingly enough. Huh. But front armor 140. It protects against plasma, it somewhat protects against plasma, somewhat against laser. And it definitely protects against chem. Oh, we also have an Eva variant. That's cool. Alright, I'm gonna contact the fucking mercenaries. I'm done. I wanna get that done. Alright. Yeah, that's still gonna take a while, isn't it? Wait, did I see that right? I think I might have seen that right. Hold on. Oh no, 13 days. What was I looking at? Ah, those things. Okay. This will be done in 13 days. 13 days, um, data center will give us access for pa -pa 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 three brainers. I'm gonna hire nine brainers. I'm gonna hire nine brainers because by the time the data centers are done, it's before the end of this month, so we can immediately put them to work. What is that? Dear Lord, what is that? 
What else do we have? We have lots of slavery to be done, don't we? Nurses. Oh yeah, oh yeah, here we go. The slave machine is uh, officially a go-go. Siren security guards. Engineers. Yup. Brigand. It's a big yes. Megapool Wolfman. Uh, we got to flush those guys out eventually. So, yeah, that's nice. And we got a X experiment victim. So let's quickly go to trophies. <gasps> Persuade the Tron! It's here, finally! Haha! <laughs> let's rescue this uh, poor shot. No! Well, it's too late now. So, this is kind of the other thing I gotta do. I gotta procure dragon tokens. I can't remember how many dragon tokens we needed. Let's see. 1500. White Rabbits requires Wispis, and Covenant Mission requires Wispis as well. So 1500 tokens in total would require me to, let's see, do this 150 times. I can do this 100 times. We have 13k Jack tokens? Holy shit! Alright! Alright! Keep in mind! Um... No, sorry. Oh yeah, it doesn't count as trophies, right? Procure mass-crafted weapon, uh, mass-crafted parts requires 350 tokens since we have... Oh, it's a mutant alliance that requires it, not Jack. Never mind, I don't particularly care about that, but, um, yeah. I at least need four of those as well, but there's my entire queue. It's gonna take a while, don't worry about it. Oh, fuck me, that sure does take quite a while. Holy shit, look at that. That's mental. That is truly mental. Two days. Dominator Iridians Mutant Culling. Alright, so as far as I know, do not touch the Dominators ever, unless you want to die. That's the same Dominator. And he's gone. Alright, we have three new people who arrived in Orange Fields, where they're just gonna be hanging out for quite a while. We still have some training we can do over here. That's cool. Lentlock balls, that's cool. Human God Shrine, alrighty. Well, we can only take Lockners with us, as far as I understood, so um, Lockners and Gnomes, any small person. Papa, ta ta da ta, ta 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 ta. Well, let's uh, make sure we take a bunch of these guys with me. I'd love to take some synth metal. Alright. Ah. Uh, God damn. So let's first look towards Locknars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's all the Lockners I have. Shit. Ah, shit. Alright, Setna. Alright, oh, Setna won't fit the board. Wait. That is Francesca, my bad. Where's Setna? Oh, we do have Istar. I completely forgot the Istar existed there. <laughs> Alrighty. Um. We'll take Tormenta. Tormenta. Uh, she can be running around in her little dress because uh, that's all we have available for her. Just gotta be careful we don't get them killed. Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk. That's all the Cyberpunk I have. Oh. Oh, we have more Cyberpunk. Apparently we don't. Oh. Slayer away. You know what? Let's um. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. Let's uh, let's go for the the shield variant here. There you go. That's everybody we're gonna be taking with us. 
I'd love to get synth metal. Synth metal would make our uh, our friends indestructible. Hopefully. Maybe. We'll see. Okay, so um right, on that notion, let's uh, load these friendly friends up. As we can. Doesn't even have a weapon yet and it's almost over encumbered. Heavy weapons it will be. Okay, maybe light heavy weapons. Yeah, that works. Remember we go in, we kick ass, we go out. We're we're not gonna we're not gonna linger around. We're here to kill and kill we shall. Easy peasy lemon squeezy as they say. Gotta get some melee uh melee lockner on the go as well. Gotta get me some healing. Those who desperately uh Need medical attention, which will happen rather sooner than later, let's be fair. Uh, Tormentia! Believe it or not, but you're gonna be doing some voodoo. Actually, I don't believe in myself either. Why would I do this? Why would I do this to myself? Uh, the want of pain or the want of airlessness? Airlessness will do the trick. I'll give you a shield and you can have an offhand weapon just to protect yourself. Magnum will do the trick, definitely. And then Isdar over here can run around with the boss gun. Isdar can run around with the uh, um, smart gun, thank you. By the way, which one is it? This is the one where the bottom, we're at the bottom, bottom right, gotcha. These are very important things to note. To be everything that stands between life or death. Death, by the way, is a dead end by the looks of it. Yep. Well, let's get this done. There's no need to be stingy over here. Remember, it's a simple shrine, we just wipe it out and then we move on. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, damn, Lysa. Expect you to be able to step just a bit further, but apparently you can't. Hmm. That is also a dead end. Okay, so there's only two ways we can really go. Nightmare, I tell you. Big nightmare. Where is Dar? You're having to take point here. Uh, not my preferred option, but sometimes when uh, when you don't have much of another choice, that's exactly what you gotta do. I'm scared. It's vampire bats. Uh, I was not expecting vampire bats. I was expecting raiders. This is really, really worrisome. Um, vampire bats will literally just tear us apart. Yeah, fuck this. Actually, nah, it might work. It might work. Which means I should not be playing this by reaction fire. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Well, hello there. Um, what, what brings you to uh, this lovely place? <laughs> uh, good stuff. Thank you, Cleo. Never. Yeah, I did cap a vampire bed alive. Demon Shrine. Hmm, 
and I love the sound of bats dying in the morning. And this seems to be the left side of the map. Ready? All we gotta do now is just uh, secure the remainder of the map and we are good to go. Uh, there are still some people without experience. I am gonna just chalk that up as a um, it is what it is. I don't think we've done a pretty good job um, ensuring lots of people got experience and the heartbreak. If this is Anna, right? No, that's Hella. Hella also doesn't have it. Mio? Is Anna? No, that's Mio. This is Anna. Then there's also. Who else? Uh, I feel like I'm missing somebody. I think it's uh, Lasaya, right? Lasaya could need a kill. <gasps> I like how uh, Esther took his sweetest time. He's like, oh no, my ally is being uh, murdered. Uh, oh well. Well, Anna survived, so that's good. Oh no, anyways. Right, this person does seem to be heading towards me, or this uh, bat seems to be heading towards me. Um, if I can have one extra turn to get this all settled, it would be fantastic, but I doubt it. Hmm? He's still lingering around there, that's cool. Anyways, as I mentioned earlier, Lasso over here could really use a kill. Or, uh, uh, experience, experience. I should have thought that through. If he doesn't move, that obviously means that he has all his time units. Which, by the way, I might actually backfire right over here. Yeah, this cooldown's very, uh, very poorly for me. Nope. All's well that ends well. Bystanders survive one, booty sees, nobody died. Thank god that, um... Uh, the person who got beaten up didn't die. Lugnar's Avenger Armor. Oh great, we have another one. Uh, Glamour, Gold Bars, Old Earth Books, Esto Erotica. We can actually sell that. Uh, Lugnar's Scriptures, which is quite nice. Uh, teaching of the Night, great. Another teaching unlocked. Not that we get much out of it, but hey. Simul simul simulacrum Arms, what the fuck is this? Alright, cool. Dildo, uh huh. Desert Hide, Animal Poison, cool. Well, we ship where um, we expect this to be shipped to. Vampire bat carcasses. Teaching of the night. Really Wonka can have the gold bars. Gold bar, sorry, singular. Uh, spider silk. No, 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 no. We hold on to the spider silk. We ship the dildo. And anything else? I don't think so. We hang on to the Avenger armor, Nightingale, Psycho, Soft Dark, Grunt, Cavalier, Super Size, Sleeping Beauty, and Darkling. Thank you guys for not dying on me. Appreciate it. Okay, the assembling the ship engine has been completed. Next up we're gonna repair or sin unit, right? Shit! I really thought we could do something with the damaged sin. Rebuild the damaged sin. Oh okay, that explains. Cool. Um pa pa pa. Uh, that means that uh, in Willy Wonka we're going to have to ship this to Orangefield. This is another reason why I so desperately want a second production facility. I don't have the capacity to work on that. <gasps> the Broken Guild Wrap! Guild Wrap's secrets. We've got an info about the about an ancient technology cache, supposedly hidden somewhere in the Euro-Asia autonomy. We need to learn more about that area of the world before trying to seize it though. Don't worry, we've taken care of that. <laughs> Superior base investigation. 
very excited about that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna slap eight people on that. I want that done ASAP. That's why it's eight and not um, four. UAC data reload. This magnetic memory reel is extremely durable. Still, it is a small miracle it survived two more times, even considering that the UAC facility we recovered it from managed to stay powered the whole time. With a bit of effort, we can repair and read the data stored on within uh, stored within what kind of 500-year-old mysteries will it uncover? Just the UAC heavy nail gun. This quad barreled weapon seemed impossible, as we could not locate its any uh, energy source, much less activated. My brain is slowing down, sorry. But that wasn't until we found out about the UAC's trans-dimensional experiments. Yes, it seems to be drawing energy from another dimension. The unique nature of its ammunition also indicates that it was designed to fight otherworldly creatures, or actually at long ranges, damages armor. No, no bet yet. We're only getting started, right? Only getting started. Fine, because we'll have seven people on the ten. Oh. On the hunt for the mysterious patron! You have decided to take up the cooperation with this mystery patron. It seems to be the only way to figure out who she is and what her real motives are, anyway. And maybe her teachings might be worth a dime. Sure, sure enough, there was an application waiting at the Bounty Hunter Network. She, so she recognized... She, so she is recognized as an official Bounty Hunter customer. She does not offer any tokens, but writes that you need to pass three difficult tests of brains, brawl, and savvy. Oh, fuck me. Before most of her teaching even start to make sense. Figures. First, uh, work comes first, and the pay? Well, you have, will make sure it is extracted one way or another. Oh yeah, the Russian files are coming. Solar career concerned about chrysalid gas. The latest chrysalid infestation in the southern Alpi uh, Alpines is mostly gone after two weeks of bombardment by the Black Marches, Zeppelins, and artillery. Thousands of tons of chrysalid gas were used. This horrible weapon works by quickening the already overcharged metabolism of these creatures, making them to literally go up in flames or even explode. Officially, the gas is of little danger to normal life, but the Academy disagrees, saying that overdosage can cause mass extinctions of small creatures, thus imbalancing the biosphere. Even rarely ignite poorly shielded hilarium equipment. Provost Zah Zakharina herself appealed to the international community to condemn Black March military for their overly brutal actions. Well, that sounds awfully familiar. And the mutant MG. Cool. I would read it, but. <laughs> Not yet. The wizard requires a small task of you. One of the associates has a sensitive piece of property near this town. The place is absolutely quiet and safe, full of happy mutants, and there is no way anything could go wrong. In an unlikely case, something does limit the damage. Note that since you have to move in to keep watch over the town, aborting the mission is impossible, only mostly harmless weapons allowed. Weather wizards rule. Um... No, no, I'm actually gonna call it for tonight. I'm gonna call it for tonight. There is no way I'm gonna be able to do this mission sensibly. Um, that was it. We'll continue this next time, and uh, we'll, we'll see how wizards roll. For now, I'm gonna get some sleep. I really need my sleep. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. I hope to see you next time. Take care. Oh man, take better care than I do of my sins. Big oof.